So now we're gonna uh, head over to Pat O'Brien's, and we're gonna uh, we're gonna get us some hurricanes. Uh, when in New Orleans, you you must get hurricanes from Pat O'Brien's. That's the original. So we're about to get some hurricanes from here and relax for a little bit, and then probably go get something to eat after this. All right. So let's check this out. All right. I don't know if I'm getting old, but I'm tired. I'm ready to go take a nap. You ready to take a nap? So, so far the adventures in New Orleans have been a very, very good uh, experience. Um, I haven't had any complaints. Everything's been fun. We've been enjoying ourselves, eating good, doing some tours, um, drinking, and having a good time. So no complaints. We are just out here living our best lives and enjoying it to the fullest. So we're going to drink this hurricane and probably get something to eat. I know I keep saying that, but uh, I'm ready for some down south soul food creole food gumbo seafood all that good stuff that's what i'm ready for ready so uh nice. we're gonna drink these hurricanes and then we're gonna get up out of here and, and find a nice place to eat all right anyways i'll check y'all when we get to the next spot peace <laughs> Anyway, so we leaving Bourbon Street now. We leaving Pat O'Brien's. We're gonna go to Mother's and get some good old soul food over there. Um, it's kind of like Vegas. You can walk with your drinks in the street. So we about to go over there to Mother's and get some good food. And probably go take a nap after that. But for now, we're gonna go uh, get some Mother's. And she's back there playing that beautiful music. Man, that food smells good. You smell it? What? That Oyster bar? All right, so we're here in New Orleans, and when you in New Orleans, you have to stop at Mother's, all right? Mother's is known for their soul food, okay? So we end up getting some fried chicken, some red beans and rice, some jambalaya, some etouffee. We got some good food coming, and we're going to enjoy this food. It's a lot of food, so I don't know if we're going to get filled up, but we still got more restaurants we want to go to. Uh, I definitely want to check out Dookie. Um, that, that's, you have to go to Dookie when you're in New Orleans for fine dining and Creole food and gumbo and all that good stuff, all right? But uh, the food is going is on its way, so I'll see y'all when the food get here, all right? So here's the food we got. We got the fried chicken and french fries and grits and biscuits, ham, and red beans and rice, and etouffee and green beans. And, man, so I'm about to, uh, we about to hop into this and, and tell you what the food is all about. So. So we about to dig into the school. I'm gonna tell you guys what I think. Once again, this is Mother's Restaurant in New Orleans, down in the French Quarter, off the beat a little bit, but we're gonna eat this food and tell you guys what we think about it, right? We got a lot of food. More than likely, we ain't gonna eat all of it. We ain't gonna eat a lot of it. So um, we about to dig into this and uh, I'm gonna give you guys my review. I'm about to get the itis. I already know it. So. Apparently they got the world's best ham here, so let's see what this ham is about. I won't eat pork, but I'm gonna try it. You eat bacon? That's about as far as I go. Well, I don't know. The ham is nice and moist and juicy, but there's no real flavor to it. I'll make a better ham after Thanksgiving. I taste it better. Alright. You don't eat pork, so you don't know. Oh, I know. I know ham when I eat it. Okay. This is okay. Let's see what this fried chicken do. Food is kind of cold. 
I don't know why, but the food is kind of cold. The food needs hot sauce. You know, with the fried chicken, you gotta taste that skin first. And that's how you know if the fried chicken is good from the skin. I need you to try this before I hit it with hot sauce. So we got the etouffee, we got the jambalaya, we got the green beans, and we got the um, red beans and rice. So this is red beans and rice with this red beans and rice. This. Red beans and rice is pretty good. It's flavorful, but like I said, everything is just seemed cold. The food is I not hot. I feel like it needs hot sauce. You think everything needs hot sauce? Let's see what this jambalaya tastes like. Wow, that's packed. That's packed full of flavor. This jambalaya is amazing. It's good. Can you taste the jambalaya? Yeah, I did. I tasted everything. I personally just want some hot sauce on it. You just want hot sauce on everything. So this is the etouffee, the crawfish etouffee. Let's see what this tastes like. Let's see. Yeah, this is everything is good. Everything is packed full of flavor. Let me see these green beans. I don't really like much vegetable, but they're good. I just. So, so far I give everything about an 8 point, now I'm going to knock it down to nah, a 7 I give it a 7, seven. because it's not hot. If, it was, if it was, the food came out the kitchen hot, it would be like more like an 8. Right now I'm going to give it a 7, because the food is not hot. But everything is flavorful. You know, she she wants um, hot sauce on hers, but for me, I like to taste the food. I don't want to taste, I don't want to overpower with hot sauce. Uh, once you overpower with hot sauce, all you taste is hot sauce. But the flavors and everything, each individual dish has their own unique flavor that's it's coming out perfectly with the food. So I'm going to give the food, the flavor, I'm going to give it an 8. But as far as everything else, I'm going to give it a 7 because the food did come out the kitchen cold. But anyways, we're going to put hot sauce on hers. We're going to finish this food, and I'll get to y'all when we finish, all right? The grits taste like water. Peace. I don't like grits, so. Put your hot sauce on what you need to put hot sauce on. Don't put hot sauce on everything though. Everything needs it though. You said what you need it on, not what everything is. I'll just put it in the corner. The hot sauce need a pan is bland. Tastes better with the hot sauce. This is butter? No, oh. that's um, potato salad. So we just finished eating. I guess we're going to go back to the room now and take a nap. Come back out later. Uh, eat dinner. Hang out a little bit. Go to a couple bars. And that's going to be it for New Orleans because we leave in the morning. So right now we're just going to call us an Uber and go back to the room and take a nap for a little bit. All right? Anyways, I'll see you all in a little bit. Peace. So what's up, you guys? Um, it is now the next morning. We went back to the room and fell asleep. So we didn't end up going to... Uh, Dookie, the restaurant I wanted to go to. That's what I said because we was late, right? It was closed, like it was closed, like, like closed, closed, like they was closed for the day. When I woke up to check, it was like eight thirty. What restaurant closes that early? A lot of restaurants down there close that early. No, they were closed. Anyways, don't interrupt my video again, okay? So to keep telling, put you in your place. Sorry, Daddy. Okay. Anyway, so we didn't end up going to the restaurant. We went to the, another restaurant um, called uh, Bobby Bobby Herbert. Mm -hmm. Food was pretty good. Uh, we're at the airport now, so we'll be back in LA in a little bit. So um, I think this is going to be the end of the video. So if you guys haven't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, hit that like button. Hit that notification bell so every time I upload a video, you guys know. And leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about this trip. And... Um, 
If you guys got any suggestions for the next time we come back here to New Orleans, uh, leave them down in the comments below, all right? Anyways, I'll check y'all on the next video. Peace. I wanna slim fine, come on with some twerk with all. I wanna slim fine, come on with some twerk with all.